I recently got myself a 42U rack closet. And for that I also got myself a used APC UPS. A SMX750i. And I got it used for a nice 150 euro price. The only problem was that the batteries are dead. This is one of the battery packs that it came with. There's also another one. And since the pack is dead, I would either need to buy a new one or replace the cells in this one. And I looked at the price and I got 300 euros for a new pack. Decided not to do that. Instead, we're going to open this thing up and we're going to replace the cells, which shouldn't be too bad. There are three screws, one here, one here, and one here. The thing about these screws is that these are not Phillips screws. These are this kind of weird triangly bit. Here is its designation. This is from the iFixit kit. Then we just need to take out all the screws. Once the screws are out, we have three tabs. There's one in the front, and then there's one here, and one on the other side. So we need to open all of the tabs. Side ones are open, and then we just need to do the one in the front. You essentially get this thing off. This is the tab in the front, it just needs to be pushed in a little bit. So if you come from outside, you just push it like so and it should flex enough for you to be able to take out the cover. Now we have the cells. You can see the designation of the cell. Here is my replacement. The important thing mostly is that you make sure that the dimensions are okay. And as we can see here, these batteries have already bulged. It seems that the ones here haven't. So technically these could be still be used. These need to be recycled. Isn't that great? And every time you take these things apart, it's good to make sure that you check how the polarities go, because not every manufacturer actually has the polarities as coded. They might all just be black wires. So we're just going to take these out. And then we're going to replace that with this.
don't know, turns out I'm, I'm wrong, these are also bulged. There we go, the battery back has been rebuilt, now we just need to replace the cover. Before we go plugging this into anything, we'll make sure that it actually produces proper voltages. And there we go, we actually get proper voltages. If you had in proper connections, you would get nothing.
And now let's just slam this into the machine. Now, since I don't have a proper stand for the camera, I'm just going to place the thing here and then going to start recording again. I lied. I also took out this screw, which was here. I'm going to just push this in all the way and then replace the screw. And then we have this thing. That is supposed to go in there, but which is not going to go in there because we left this too short. So I have to take this out, have to lengthen this a little bit by pulling it out from the casing and then we'll put it back in. See, things don't always go to plan. Okay, now this is a lot longer. I just had to take out this screw, then I was able to pull these to the full length. Then I checked again with the multimeter that they gave the same voltage. This is kind of important when you're dealing with um, energy, energy storage devices that you don't accidentally do things that you weren't supposed to. Always double check. Now we can push this thing in and then we can replace the screw again. And then we can push this in. There we go. Now we should be able to turn the thing on. And there we go. That's functioning properly. Of course, it has no AC because it hasn't actually been connected to the mains yet. So the most important thing is that we can see that, okay, the battery works as it's supposed to, the thing comes on, that's enough for us. Um, I will continue with my rack project since I'm moving a bunch of stuff into this, this rack enclosure. But that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope this has been helpful for you.